Hey guys, Ming Level. Welcome to my channel. It's me, and that's my name. And you will probably know me because I'm so new to this YouTube thing. And this is gonna be my very first video here. So if you wanna get to know me more, just keep on watching this, and maybe you can continue to watch my next video too. So before anything, a little bit introduction about myself. I am Chu. I'm a 20 year old student in my final year and a barmaid. I've been working as an illustrator and graph designer for a year. And here, I'll be sharing anything what I feel like to be honest. But I'm sure you might get something useful, which is definitely not a regret from watching my contents. So let's not be around the bush. As from the title, not gonna lie, you're watching a video of me doing a packaging design for a biscuit product. I won't be able to explain everything in detail, but I hope you will be able to see every single decisions I made here. And I'll be talking about like how I made, how I thought of stuff. So hopefully it will be useful. Before I create my designs, I tend to do this gush thing. Not always, but mostly whenever I do something, I have to use my creativity more. I try to write down the first climb gives me and other things I want to add. So by writing them down, it helps me easier to get new, more related ideas. And based on it, I created color palette to use, and that leads me to go along with the same consistent thing. So they're basically what I'm do before actually creating a design, but before all of that, it is necessary to, to like find reference, research, and analyze what your client goal is and the concept like what you want to give the vibe of. For this one, it can be set as just a practice project because it for submission of the design contents and this is my first time ever doing this because I just wanted to challenge myself before accepting actual commissions. The process actually took me 6 hours but with timeless it's just a blink. So in the first place, like I did in the scotch pad, I plan to do something like flying and floating biscuits around the wood make to give the vibes of like um, a rich make and some coconuts in front too. So I'm just trying to make the focus on the main product and for the rest, to be honest, the rest product is said to be not having a problem plan because I already designed on the concept, I've got the main idea too, so the rest product would be like me trying and exploring ways how to look better with some nice compositions and color and how to communicate better. Um, I just had to discover maybe new ideas by doing so for long, adding new things and check how it will look different and better if I change something. So here you can see I've done so many iterations to fix it if I feel something is not working or looking well. I'm adding some taglines and some nice adjectives to describe that I have already thought and planned in my sketch already and like trying to think of different ways to put them probably. So last but not least, I also had to paste the design in the mockup to realize how this is gonna look in real life and that helps me find anything I feel I needed, maybe the round proportions or some not aligning with the guidelines enough. So the thing is just don't rush, don't rush to complete a design. If you stay off time, I suggest you just to keep on discovering and finding ways to make it look better and see how that develops even if maybe you may have to change the process too. So yeah, it's okay if you have enough time me. So after the first part, as I also checked the mockup too rapidly and that's now on the stage, I feel I satisfied enough. So here comes the back part. Um, with the thing I decided, I wanted to have like some peanut toppings that I just cut out from the cookie sticker they have given. I wanted to make it like banner. And 
change. Another important thing as well, I needed to know what the samples they have given me and do some research on it and it helps me to get to know many other samples too which are usually used in a product packaging. Break time for lunch, find the way check to the song and currently listen to it. I'm sure some of you might have known this but if not please check it out. Again, back to work. Um, the back pad is more likely to have the walls, like the ingredients of the product. So yeah, just type, type, and type everything from the information they have given. And I guess this is gonna be taking me a few years cause I suck at typing in barbies. The typing part is soon to be finished and as I didn't want the part and the logo to be plain, I added some biscuits and coconuts too that helps the viewers to see more clearly about the flavor. And for the rest, I just added some materials to be balanced and like check for test alignments, typos and everything. So check again and again until you feel satisfied and won't feel like anything needed. So here's nothing but me and I guess I've done and this is the back part. Um gonna zoom to see more clearly and this is the front part. Maybe check in a walk up to so not to be missed it has to align the logos in both parts so I guess it's finally done so as the final part I'm sending an email to the contest planner so a flashback to make it seem more clearly here there again front part um, back part and this is the mock-up so from this video I hope you will be able to see every single decisions and steps I made throughout the process may not be clear enough because it's a speedy video and I'm also sorry for the ratio of the video to anyways but um, I hope you got something from it useful or maybe fun to watch and if you have anything you wanted to know about it Just don't be hesitate to let me know in the comments and I'll be trying to help as much as I can So thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoy it, please continue to keep waiting and watching my next video too Have a nice day and see ya